In this video, I'm going to take you through how to make a mission using LRG Fundamentals. So the first thing you need to do is obviously download the mod itself, which is located on our Steam page. Um, I'll put links to this below. So get yourself subscribed to that. Next thing I advise you do is grab a copy of the template missions, which is also linked below. And from here, it will just give you a bit of a head start in how to make it as quick as possible. So I'll just get this downloaded, the latest version. And once we've done that, Let's drag it back over here, get that unzipped, and we can move this to our Armour 3 folder, Profiles folder. This is all the templates that we've got then, so we've got four in this version at the minute. Uh, so just grab whichever one you want, you don't need to take all of them if you don't want to, but copy these into your mission folder, so Freeze, uh, in fact I'll just take the 3CB one. Uh, and I'll grab this HTML file as well, that's the preset, and I'll show you what to do with that shortly. I'll get it all in one place. Uh, for those that don't know, your missions folder is located in your documents, our three other profiles, your profile missions. So I'll just smash that down in there. Okay, from here then we now need to set the mods up for use with this template. You don't have to use the template, but it's got everything configured. So you can just copy and paste, save yourself a bit of time, which is what this is all about. Uh, let's get that dragged across into there. So this is the preset, which is a really clever little tool. So what you do is just drag it into your mods list and it will set up a preset for you if you haven't got the mods installed it will install them for you uh, or give you a little notification saying would you like to install this mod and it also creates it up here for you so you can load it again next time so if we go with this i can add to it if i want now if i want to change the map that it's on or add enemies or units or whatever you can do it here but i'll just leave it at that for now because it's nice and simple uh, if you wanted to send this on to somebody else uh, you can just hit this share button here and it will create that preset that we used on the left hand side so you can just copy and paste that onto somebody else without having to keep hold of that file uh, so i'll get rid of it right let's get armor booted see what happens okay so we're in armor 3 now let's go editor and virtual reality for now because what we're going to do is we're just going to look at what's in that template file so we can get stuff copy and pasted across to our mission so i'll just open it up so it was under missions and our G3CB was the one that I grabbed. And here we have a load of stuff. Uh, I won't take you through what it all does and what it all is, but general rule is on a lot of this stuff you have functions, which is why we've done it this way. So you can just copy and paste for a good example. And in the init fields of a lot of stuff, we have functions that are called within the mod, just so you're aware that they are there. But I'll take you through that as we make a mission if we need to. Uh, most of it is available in the function library or all the documentation should be available. But what we're going to do first is copy it. So I've just hit Control C there, uh, and we're going to make our own mission. So uh, I'll just use Molden for now. I've not put anything else on. Uh, so we'll get this loaded across, and let's just smash it down somewhere. So fail safe winner for Molden is always this airfield. So I'm just going to put it down now. I won't waste time and configure it all into different places and make it all look pretty. Uh, but I will put it down at least there. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is configure our modules. So if you look at systems uh, under LRG Fundamentals, you've got these modules here. So you can put them down yourself. Uh, we've already got some put down here uh, in the default settings. I'll just drag them over here and I will very quickly go through these one at a time. Uh, so module setup then, uh, the, sorry, main setup. So this is the mission setup here. This is the main one you have to put down. Everything kind of uses this as its control. So if you haven't got this down, everything's default, it's off. So you need to put the module down if you want to use any of this functionality. These are our default settings. So if you're just using default, just put the module down. That's it. You're done. No further work required. However, it gives you the opportunity to turn stuff on and off, change settings um, as and when you want to. Uh, nice and configurable. Uh, work your way through them. Nice little tool tips if you need help, if you're not sure what any of them do. If you need further help, then let us know. Uh, other one, channels. Most of you probably won't use this. Again, default configuration for us. So you simply have to place this module down and that's all your channel set. However, it gives you the opportunity to turn individual text and voice channels on, off, and also give them a duration. So in this configuration here, they're all off except for side chat, uh, which is enabled in text only. And after 60 minutes, it will be disabled. Uh, that's just what we use. So you've got an opportunity to use side chat, but only at the start of the mission, then it gets turned off just for a bit more of a milsim thing. But feel free to configure as you need to. Simply place the module if it's a default setup. Two others then that work the same as each other. A uh, bit more configuration though. So safe zone. So the safe zone one is you place it where you want a safe zone. So let's say I want a safe zone in this base. 
the center of it so i'd say let's i want it there uh, double click on that you can set it to enable disabled so if you want to put all the safe zones in for a whole campaign but you only want to use them one at a time just hit disabled and it won't do anything then just enable it again when you're happy up to you most of you will just leave that enabled uh default size then is 150 that's 150 meter area around that zone uh, that module duration uh, so duration is basically we've got the, f the functionality that you can turn this on and off so if you want a safe zone but you only want them in a safe zone for the first hour of the mission 20 minutes 10 minutes whatever you want set it in here in minutes if you set it to minus one it will be uh, permanent it will stay on at all times so up to you useful in individual case if you're doing like a base defend you give them time to set up and then after that uh, they won't be able to shoot at base uh, so that's safe zone there set up ai spawns then so this is the last one we'll go through uh, so basically this module here you place it where you want to spawn enemy so let's pick a decent place not right next to base there we go let's go there uh big somewhere in this town let's go there place the module down double click on it and oh my word look at all that configuration so uh objective name so give it a name if you want i'm just going to call it objective one default that'll appear on the left hand side in zeus all the enemy will say objective one AT group objective one so you can see which enemies are which which is a useful feature uh, enemy faction then so pick whatever you want make sure if you're using the cup ones you have cup uh, mods enabled we'll keep adding stuff to this if people request it um, and just pick whichever faction you want so let's just use CSAT for now um, and just work through these pick the numbers so I'm just going to rush through and just smash random numbers in random places make sure your min values are higher than your max values uh, otherwise they won't work so just go down the list you can, the, the min and max is basically there to give you a bit of randomization if you want it you can have huge variation if you wanted you can have between two and ten groups of of enemy garrisons so there could be hardly anyone in buildings but then there could be loads and it's just a randomized number between two and ten if you pick it but you've got all sorts of stuff here that you can customize uh, so just wait for it uh, a good thing about the modules is you can copy and paste this. So if that's your you're happy with that as your standard configuration for a town, you can copy and paste that to five different locations if you want, which I shall do now. Copy. Let's put another one down here. Uh, just paste that in there. So there we go. Those two towns will popular AI that I have set uh, in that mission. Sweet. Uh, last thing that we need to do is we need to go through the attributes menu. In the attributes menu, uh, this is just all your other settings that's kind of outside of... Um, LG fundamentals this is your basic stuff so you can give it a title author so i'll call this test mission and i will copy and paste uh, for picture good tip for you here for picture on the billboard that comes with the template is the default picture for LRG. feel free to use that and just copy and paste it into this directory here and that will then give it on your load screens uh, if you're not familiar with this it's relatively simple but it's a lot of copy and pasting if you want to use the same stuff but we'll just work through it quickly i appreciate this is uh you'd spend a lot more time on it than me writing in some nice pretty statements right states then so again totally configurable to you how you want to do it um we generally turn most of the stuff off at the start um so i'll get rid of that don't want saving that is actually handling the mod anyway but don't care about that don't care about that pretty happy with the rest of it uh yeah don't care about that nothing to put in there misc so independent allegiance go for that stuff uh, that's the first one that was general let's go down to environment uh if you wanted to use the um what do you call it uh, dynamic weather stuff that's in the main module you have to make sure that you've got all of these set to manual override if you want to use it if you're leaving it disabled then feel free to put this as whatever you want totally up to you we're not using dynamic whether it's uh, off by default so we'll just leave this stuff alone as it is we don't care too much about the weather next thing multiplayer okay so some more configuration stuff here. There's quite a lot to go through in this but i'll just smash through it self-explanatory i'm just doing it to uh no don't do that this is just so you can see it disable ai that's a good one make sure you do that respawns uh, we have got a respawn template so if you do respawn on custom position and select lrg respawn on start position wherever you place the uh, playable units down at the start of the mission that is where they respawn which is pretty much what you're going to want if you want to do different respawn stuff your own go for it let's just put 10 second respawn template show scoreboard yeah not really bothered about that tasks we're not bothered about and revive we're not bothered about Feel free to use that stuff if you wish. Uh, have we got anything else to do? Performance. Um, garbage collection is up to you if you want to 
how aggressive you want to do this you have to turn it on really i think armor 3 is not the best at looking after itself in terms of frame so we have it relatively aggressive probably these kind of settings here um and just work through it dynamic sim uh make sure that's enabled if you want if you're doing something that's not particularly compatible with that sign of setup not many ai for example don't need to do it but just feel free to put whatever settings in you want so we generally go with something about there probably go up on that one then times three on that like so limit by view distance if you want cool and i think that's it we've gone through each of the attribute menus i've smashed through them because they're you just read them you know just work through one at a time no problems there just make sure you set them especially respawns that's quite an important one if you miss that in your mission names and we shall give that a boot i think we're there so i'll just hit play and if i've missed anything i'll look a bit silly but we'll go for it uh, nonetheless so here we can see we've got our mission name we've got our description underneath and our picture so again you can use anything you want if you want to use your own pictures put them in your mission files and then call their directories accordingly uh, so we've spawned in here i've got view distance oh, i've got a floating tent i've got a floating tent fantastic uh oh, everything's floating brilliant uh so if i shoot hopefully safe zone works fantastic safe zone works um, there's all sorts of configuration so we've got radios that are default frequencies here so i can see all my frequencies are set perfectly we've got the arsenal and the ammo boxes over there which are going to be 3 cb default because of the um, configs that are called on those i'm not going to go through everything feel free to go through literally each item in this template pretty much everything has an init field and you'll be able to double click and see what's in there or oh, i can see loads of ai so we'll have a quick look at that so this is using the ai spawns module it's a server side call so it's actually quite efficient lots of ai all sorts of stuff going on there so you have patrols and various bits and bobs going on lots of garrison didn't we jesus uh, but that's all done happy days none of them are moving which is a good sign so if you're getting panicked at all being frozen on the spot then don't because we've got dynamic sim enabled that's why they're not moving so if i temp uh, teleport to over here teleport player uh, go there fingers crossed they'll all start moving now which they are everything starts moving so obviously this is just a vanilla mission but we've got the other factions if uh, you want to use those but these are all going to be seats that guys uh and that's it so you know effectively we've that we're done now we've just made this mission in i don't know how long was that five ten minutes um from start to finish so if you're in a rush this is a great little system to use you can go as crazy as you want with it but there you are there's the absolute basics should you need them uh, if you want any additional configuration stuff added, customization functions, then just respond, preferably on the Steam Workshop page. Just put a message in there saying, can you add this? And we'll look at doing it. Or go on our Discord page as well, because we're uh, very active on there compared to Steam. But that's it, guys. Hopefully you've uh, learned a little bit in this video. Uh, if you need any additional help, uh, contact us or use the links below, and hopefully they'll uh, help you make a, a decent mission in record-breaking time. Cheers.